Then Valentine's Day is tomorrow. Something to put you in the mood, perhaps? Looking for it? How about some food for the mood? Holly's checking out recipes full of aphrodisiacs. Ah. That's a little bit later here on Fox 5 Morning News. It's 820. <laughs> Listen, before you go to the movies this weekend, you certainly have to have dinner, right? Right. Holly is cooking up a romantic Valentine's Day meal today. Holly. Absolutely, Gerber and Steve. Might be a little expensive this year to go out, but you can have a fine restaurant quality meal that you make yourself if you follow the lead of our chef here. Enzo Fabraro from Diaco, where we are live this morning, coming up a menu that will indeed have in your sweetie profess his or her love over and over. I promise. It's all live next. Fox 5 Morning News. Stay with us. Well, today may be Friday the 13th, which we hear about so often. Mm -hmm. Saturday the 14th, not so common. But tomorrow, those lucky enough to be in love will celebrate on Valentine's Day. That's right. And this morning, uh, Holly Morris is in the kitchen learning how to make a romantic meal for that special someone in your life. Holly, good morning. Good morning. I love this because these recipes are really impressive, um, yet they're totally doable. So I think this would be a great idea, especially if you're looking to cut back this Valentine's Day, but really want to make it memorable. Um, I'll tell you, this guy's memorable in and of himself. This is Enzo Fabraro, the chef here at Dacqua uh, in Penn Quarter. All right. I know we got to get going. Three okay. more recipes. Three more recipes. Very quick, as you said. It may be taking me three minutes, but for you, probably a little bit longer. Not that, not, not that much longer. Asparagus parmigiana, asparagus, mm -hmm. parmesan, pineapple, raisin, and poached egg. What are you gonna do? The first thing you want a little bit of water, boil, not even boiling, just simmering, uh -huh. because you don't want to crush the egg in there. You just drop, you know what? I forgot something. A little drop of uh, lemon. You want to just put a little drop of lemon. It helps to coagulate the uh, the egg, so the they doesn't the white with the eggs it just comes together. Look at that. I mean, it stays together. So if you just leave it like that over the fire a little bit for two minutes, this one is gonna just get all together like a nice poached egg. Not many people like to do poached eggs, but I think this is a great way, a quicker way to do it. Okay. As a matter of fact, if you come over here, I have this one, I have the one that I poached already before, and what I'm gonna do, very easy, Parmesan or Romano cheese, then we put in a little <laughs> bit of oil, we sprinkle this uh, pineapple raisin, and pineapple, they are toasted two minutes in the oven. And look, this is the egg that we were cooking before for two minutes. You just Yum. put that on top. Look how easy this, this, right? Asparagus is my favorite vegetable. Very good. Then great. I have the risotto. The risotto was making a risotto before. Then we're gonna finish it. <coughs> we're gonna finish it up. Look how many good good thing I have now here. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna bring it over there, over there, so that uh, for the camera it's gonna be easier. I think this might be sausage my favorite dish pepper, of the day. Sausage and pepper, everything. So sausage they are a little bit pre-cooked before. So you drop there. Roast pepper already peeled, a little bit of uh, beef stock. You can buy the beef stock as right, well. It comes exactly. Like a little bit of tomato sauce, and then what we're doing is just mix it up, and we finish it with uh, some, like every good risotto out there, parmesan, a little bit of butter. There you are. We mix it together, and uh, then it's ready. Look at that. How easy it is. Ooh, uh, you gotta good. babysit the risotto a little bit, right? But then it's worth it. Hundred percent worth it. The weight. A you plate. babysit the risotto, your better half will babysit you later. Bravo. Mm -hmm. you and look know what at I'm that. Uh-huh. Look at that. This oh, is the risotto. That's enough for two, two people. Two people. Oh, that's why we're cooking yeah. today, right? That's right. Or two people or one person or one person like me, right? Right. Okay, look <laughs> at that. Okay, this is a little tiramisu. This is the tiramisu mousse. It's not the usual tiramisu, the one that you have a square in the place. So eggs. Just yolks. Yolks. Yolks, yolks only. And yolks and sugar. You okay. just mix it together a little bit like that, mm -hmm. together. Then, of course, you have here some mascarpone cheese. Right. Because that's the key to any good tiramisu, of anything. Of course, you got to have that. Cheese. So you make, a little, you make a little mousse like that, mix it together. And this one comes very quick. Look, see? Yeah. You got to work good. it a little bit energetically. Yeah, look. Look how beautiful it is. Huh? That is beautiful. Huh? And then what do you do? Very easy. You have a martini glass, some lady finger, and coffee. Ooh. To make a very good, uh, to make a very good uh, tiramisu mousse. Look, Look tiramisu. At that. Then you go a little bit in the coffee, your lady finger, put in the middle. You finish with your tiramisu cream. How easy is that, right? Little bit of berries on top. Of course, the cacao because everybody likes cacao. Uh huh. And then a little bit of meat. Look at that. Two observations. Two observations. One question, one observation. One, what are you doing for your wife for Valentine's Day? 
Uh, I gotta ask her what she does for me because I don't have time to do that. But <laughs> we're gonna do working. something. We're gonna do something. You're gonna do it. something. You can come it's to Aqua because he does have a wonderful it's Valentine's it's menu. It's a secret. I cannot give it up. MyFoxyC.com is our website. We have a link uh, to his restaurant, but also with all the recipes online, so you can do it yourself. My second observation is, if I ever call in sick, just come here because I'm really not needed when and he's here. He can just much. do the whole segment. <laughs> Okay, we're going to have our own romantic dinner Thank now. You. Back to you guys. Thank you. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, Doesn't we, that look good? We've yeah. had him here on the midday show, too. He, uh, he, he's a fun guy to work with. <laughs> he is. He really is. He's a character. Yep.